Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to install SNMP on a Windows 2003 server. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to choose Start, Settings, Control Panel, and Add Remove Programs. Now you'll see this is very similar to a 2008 or a 2012 or a 2016 system. However, in the 2012 and 2016 systems, you'll probably want to go through and add features. Of course, you can do that in 2008 R2 as well. So let's go over to Add Remove Windows Components. It'll take just a second to come up. Now in the next section, it's important to click the word, not the little checkbox on the side. So drop on down to Management and Monitoring Tools, choose the words, don't click the checkbox, and choose Details. Once you go there, scroll down and choose Simple Network Management Protocol. Now in this case, you actually click the checkbox. Click OK. Next, it's probably going to prompt you to insert your CD-ROM. So you can go to Devices, Optical Drives, and insert your CD-ROM. <clears throat> Once this little screen pops up, you can exit out of that. <laughs> we won't be using the auto load feature there. And now SNMP is installed. Now we choose finish. Once we choose finish, there are a couple of options that we need to change to make this work with our infrastructure. So I'm going to close out these windows here. And you can go over to start and run services.msc. So services.msc. Of course, you can also get there by going to Start, go to Start, Programs, Administrative Tools, and then Services right there. Get there too. Now let's scroll on down and go to SNMP, not the trap service, but the service itself. Double click that, and we're going to go over to Agent, and we're going to choose Physical and Data Link and Subnetwork. Traps, our community name is going to be Public, so we're going to put a public in there. Choose Add to List. Then we're going to choose Trap Destinations, Add. Now this Trap Destination is the uh, IP address of our Libre NMS server. So you get that 192.168.56.250 there, and that's our Libre NMS server. So choose Add there, and we've got that. Now next, go to Security, Send Authentication Trap. We're going to choose Add. That read only is fine. We can choose Public there. And then Accept SNMP packets from any host is just fine. This is going to be accepting packets, but that's fine if we play with this from the Windows standpoint in the future. So we've got all that set up, and we're going to choose Apply, OK. Now, you probably don't even need to restart, but it's always a good idea. So we're going to choose Restart that service, and it should just take a second to restart. Now that that's done, we should be able to receive any kind of traps from our Windows 2003 system.